What's up guys, welcome to the video. So it is 6 a.m. and Burger King does start serving breakfast at 6 a.m. So hopefully, like last video, we don't have any issues with, you know, just certain items serving at certain times. That was a little awkward and a little funny at the same time. But we are in front of Burger King. We're gonna go place an order. And today we are gonna do a 10,000 calorie fast food wicked cheat day now last video we did do what well, we shot for 20,000 calories we made it to 16.5 K and I just tapped out but today I wanted to make the day a little different so we're gonna go for a full day of fast food and let's hit 10,000 calories Good morning, welcome Burger King. How may I help you? Hi, can I have the BK Ultimate Breakfast Platter? The Ultimate Platter? Okay, and what's a drink with that? I will do an orange juice, please. Can I also get a bacon, egg, and cheese croissant witch? And also the Egnormous Burrito. And can I also get an order of five French toast sticks? Anything else for you? And that's gonna be it. 15, 14, please. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was pretty easy. And she was nice. <laughs> Thank you very much, you too. All right guys, so we are back home, 6.18 a.m. So we are about to kick off this wicked cheat day. So we do have some Burger King breakfast. Now I just kind of wanted to compare Burger King's breakfast to McDonald's now I really did love the McGriddles they were super tasty but this breakfast platter is looking really amazing we do have a croissant witch, which is bacon egg and cheese and then also we do have I believe this is called the egg normous burrito this thing is pretty large and then uh, we also do have some French toast sticks we have five in here and then this is the breakfast platter so we have Pancakes, we have a biscuit, we do have egg and sausage as well. So, oh, also we do have some hash browns and orange juice. So, I really liked the service over at Burger King. If you guys remember last video, um, going through the McDonald's line was pretty wild. So, uh, yeah, I think I want to start with these French toast sticks. So, let's give them a try. We got some syrup right here. We gotta do the money shot, you guys know. All right, here we go. French toast sticks. Wow, damn. That is so delicious. Has a really unique like cinnamon taste to it. Mm. Wow, that is delicious. Oh, and by the way, these French toast sticks are 540 calories with the syrup. Mm. Man, these are really good, guys. Mm. I love Burger King. French toast sticks are done. Next, let's move on to this big breakfast platter. So, let's uh, load up these pancakes with some of that syrup. All right, let's try one of these pancakes to see how they taste. They're like pretty buttery and pretty good, but I'm not gonna lie. I like McDonald's pancakes better than these, but these are these are pretty good. So we do have some sausage and some egg. Which we're gonna make a yeah, we're gonna make our own McGriddle right now. <laughs> BK says you can have it your way, right? So here we go. Right, 
So let's put a little ketchup on this egg here. Actually, I should probably just eat the biscuit. Actually, I want to try the biscuit by itself. Mmm. That's tasty. It's really like buttery. Let's put this egg on this biscuit and make an egg sandwich. Let's, uh, let's try some of these hash browns. I love ketchup on potatoes, that's for sure. And ketchup just goes so well with them. Here we go guys, these are the hash browns. They're actually very, very similar to McDonald's. But these are just like little circles rather than like a big like potato biscuit. Oh, by the way, that breakfast platter was 1,190 calories. And this OJ, 140. Love me some OJ. All right, next let's go with this bacon, egg and cheese croissant, which now you guys know how much I love croissants. Look at that. Oh, sorry, <laughs> that croissant which was 340 calories. So now moving on to the egg enormous burrito. So this is 940 calories. It is pretty uh, dense too. Whoa. Wow, look at that. So there's egg in there, there's hash browns, there's sausage. That is a delicious combination when it comes all together. Oh, there's bacon in there too. Wow. Let's try it with a little ketchup. There is so much flavor in this thing. collaboration with Cove headphones. So these are the Strive Bluetooth sports headset and I gotta say these things are really awesome. I did receive these last week. I've been using them in the gym and I really, really like them. So they do come in this awesome little box and then inside we have this cool little carrying case. So it does have a nice little zipper here and then inside we have the headphones and then also we have a USB charge cable and then we have three ear pieces to customize the fit to your ears. So these are the headphones. So they are wireless, they are noise canceling. They have a microphone, they are water resistant and the battery lasts up to seven hours. And so there are many cool features about these headphones. So they do have the little power button here. So if you are receiving an incoming call, you can simply click it to receive the call. If you don't want to receive the call, you can just hold it down for one second. And then also there is a volume adjustment up here. You just simply click it to increase the volume or if you want to skip a track, you just hold it down. So there are many cool features to these headphones and I gotta say, I really like them. And the best thing of all is that they don't fall off. You just easily put them on like so and they just don't fall off. You know, like I was using these headphones for a very long time. I really like them, but like when I'm working out, when I'm training or if I like, go to like look down to my phone or something, they just kind of fall off. But with these Cove headphones, they just, it's impossible. They just do not fall off. So I gotta say, I really like them. And you guys can save 65% of my code, NickD65. The link will be in the description box below. I highly recommend them. They are an awesome set of headphones. So if you guys are in the market for a set of headphones, definitely check these out.
All right, guys, so we are here at Sonic, and I've never been here before, and the menu is pretty large, so I think I want to go with the chili cheese coney. I haven't had a hot dog in I don't know how long. And then also, I'm going to go with the supersonic double bacon burger. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Anything else? Thank you very much. Ketchup, mustard, salt, pepper? Uh, ketchup, please. Ketchup, no problem. And then here is a spoon and a straw for your respective. Thank you. <laughs> Anything else? That's it. Nope. All right. If you need anything, press the red button. Let us know, okay? Thank you very much. Enjoy. <laughs> All right, so uh, that was uh, pretty cool. So here at Sonic, they come and deliver your food on, where'd you go? on roller skates. <laughs> so uh, we have all our food here. I actually brought my tray, so I'm gonna actually set everything up and I'll be back very shortly. Well, all right, my friends, it is 12.51 p.m. and we do have our next meal in front of us. So we are at Sonic and this is the double bacon cheeseburger. So this thing right here is pretty yoked. <laughs> So for calories, we are looking at 1,030 calories for this baby right here. So uh, I wanna just <laughs> dive right into it. So yeah, this thing is pretty massive and it's looking tasty. So here we go, Sonic Burger. That is delicious. Just look at those layers. Very well put together. Very well put together. We need a little ketchup because ketchup is good on everything. Mm. The ketchup just made it even better. <laughs> So I have never been to Sonic before, and you know I always drive by it. So I was like, you know what? I want to do a fast food cheat day. So you know we started the BK, and then came here for the second meal, and for the third meal I'm pretty undecided what I'm gonna have, uh, but I'll definitely figure it out. Mm. Now this burger is really good. But I'm gonna be dead honest. I like Burger King better. <laughs> Burger King's burgers are just so perfect. I just love the flavor. Um, the one I usually get is like the quarter pound king. And uh, yeah, this burger is good, but man, BK, BK all the way. Yeah, and this is a Coke Zero. All right, let's uh, let's give these fries a try. And again, I'm a huge fan of Burger King's fries. So let's uh, let's see how these Sonic fries are. They kind of taste like In-N-Out fries. Yeah. and burger are right, done. We are moving on to this foot long hot dog. I can't remember the last time I had a hot dog. Whoa, look at this thing. So it is a chili and cheese foot long coney dog. <laughs> this thing is massive. All right guys, <laughs> here we go. Mm. The hot dog bun itself is really, really soft and delicious. I just love bread. <laughs> and the hot dog tastes like a hot dog. 
So we got some chili, cheese, as well as some mustard on top. Oh, and by the way, the fries were 470 calories, and this hot dog is 830. That was pretty good. Let's clean this stuff up really quick. And now moving on to dessert. This is the Reese's Peanut Butter Blast. So this is a size small, and this thing right here is 750 calories. That peanut butter and chocolate combination is just money. Mm. Yeah, I was really undecided whether if I wanted to get the Snickers one or the Reese's. You can never go wrong with some peanut butter though. But what do you guys prefer? Reese's or Snickers? Comment down below. That's a tough choice. Because Snickers are really, really good. So is uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. But, can you guess my favorite candy bar? I'm sure some of you can. <laughs> and this thing is like dense and thick. This is only a small. I don't know how somebody could eat like a large. That would just take me out. <laughs> yeah, the large would be 1,460 calories. That is just unbelievable. That's unreal. This is really good though. And the last bite. Well, um, Sonic was actually pretty good. I still am a very big fan of Burger King's burgers. So the Sonic burger was pretty decent, but BK is still not. just woke up from a nap. It is 4.54 p.m. and it is time to go get some more food. Now, man, <laughs> I just ate a lot of food. I think I'm up to like maybe 6,000 calories, a little more. And yeah, it just set in very nicely. It made me pretty sleepy. Took a nice little nap. And yeah, let's, uh, let's get moving, get in this next meal. Can I have a cheesy gordita crunch, please? Can I also have a fiery Doritos Tacos Loco Supreme? Okay. And a Chalupa Supreme, please? And I'll do a Crunch Wrap Supreme. Everything on screen, correct? Yes. Okay, see you at the window. Thank you. Yep. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. You too. Okay, okay, here we go. And it is hot out. All right, my friends, it is 5.16 p.m. And we do have our food here. So, we went to Almighty Taco Bell. We got a bunch of items here. A few things that I haven't tried yet. So, I am kind of excited for that. And we did get fire sauce because I like it pretty spicy. So, all right, hopefully this angle is good. Looks kind of dark. Hopefully that is better. All right, I wanna try the cheesy gordita crunch first because my girlfriend told me I should really try that and I wanna give that one a go first. So this right here is the cheesy gordita crunch. So it's basically like a taco wrapped with a taco shell or gordita shell with cheese in the middle so let's uh let's give it a go mm. 
Wow. <laughs> wow. That is seriously so good. I don't know what sauce they put in there, but that is seriously amazing. Wow. <laughs> good call, babe. <laughs> yeah. That is seriously phenomenal. That's definitely the best thing that I've ever had at Taco Bell. That was pretty unique. That little guy was uh, 490 calories. So next we're gonna try out the, this is the Gordita Supreme. So it's like a thick taco shell. We got sour cream in there, tomatoes. We got cheese, lettuce, and some beef. Let's uh, let's put some fire sauce on there. I love this stuff. It's like the perfect amount of spice. Not too hot, just perfect. Get the spice up in there. It's good. But the cheesy gordita crunch is out of this world. Oh, this is the Chalupa Supreme. If I didn't say it correctly before. 370 calories. All right, that was pretty good, but Cheesy Gordita Crunch, that holds the title. All right, next we have the Doritos Locos Fiery taco. So this is like the Dorito taco pretty much. I'll take it out so you guys can see it. Oh yeah, Supreme by the way, so there is sour cream on this. That is good. Now we are down there. I only got four things. I thought I got more. Well, I did get a drink too. And now moving on to the Taco Bell Crunch Wrap Supreme. Wow, this thing is actually pretty heavy. I've never had one of these before. So I'm kind of excited to try it. Wow, this thing is, it's got some weight to it. So, the Taco Bell Crunch Wrap Supreme. Yeah, it's not bad. That cheesy gordita crunch though. I don't know what sauce they use, but it is seriously amazing. It straight blows away all these other items. Oh, and by the way, this is 530 calories. Okay, so it does have beef, cheese, lettuce, tomato, sour cream, and uh, yeah, not bad, but again, that cheesy gordita crunch, <laughs> crazy. Let's throw some fire sauce on this last bite. All right, cheers guys. Look who it is. Where have you been? Where have you been? <laughs> Little stinker. What have you been doing? Watching TV. Watching TV. <laughs>
Want to go swimming? No? All right, I'm going to go then. Silly goose. Where's a Bella? What's a Bella? Where's a Bella? Do you want to come in? All right guys, so we are back and it is 7.58 p.m. So we do have a box to open from a subscriber, but also one thing first. You guys probably thought I forgot. Okay, so what's the one thing that you guys did not see today? I'll give you guys a minute. Okay, ready? The almighty cronut. So, after I did eat the Burger King breakfast this morning, I did go to 5-0 because it did open at 7 a.m. I picked myself up a lovely Cookie Monster because this is my favorite donut and I have to redeem myself because last cheat day it was the 20,000 calorie challenge. I was so like, just pretty much done for that I didn't even consume my Cookie Monster. So, we had to consume one so we got a cronut and the legendary Cookie Monster. So these are my two favorite donuts. So we're gonna start with the Cronut. Cheers, guys. Mm. <laughs> Every time. You guys already know. Do I even have to say it? <laughs> For those that don't know, scoop and a half of plant protein. We have the mint cacao flavor. We have two scoops, scoops, two cups of cashew milk. Mm mm mm. All right. And now for the Cookie Monster Magic Blue Frosting, Oreo Crumbles, Cookie Dough Bites, Cookie Butter Drizzle. Come on. All right. This one's for you, babe. Mm. Guys, just look. Add that. Wow. Mm. Wow, that was delicious. All right. Now, we have a box to open up. Oh, that is just too tasty. All right. This box is from Idaho. So, uh, let's see what's inside. <laughs> Yo, wow, dude, no way. No way. All right, let me, um, should I read the letter first or? Yo, I cannot believe this. Let me pull everything out so you guys can see it. No, yo, these are like one of my favorite candies. Yo, seriously, you guys have no idea how much stuff is in this box right now. Yo, no way, bro. This is crazy. Oh, 
his more. <laughs> this on your next wicked cheat day. I have packed all my favorite vegan munchies whenever I have a cheat day. Your positive outlook on life and hardcore work ethic are a huge inspiration. Cheers dude. Team Big Vegan Bites. Hayden Birch at Haydo. Plus a few non-vegan goodies. Yo seriously, thank you so much Hayden. This is absolutely bananas. Like this, there is so much stuff here guys. It's on Believable! I cannot believe it. You guys are seriously so amazing, and I appreciate every single one of you guys. But wow, this is just mind blowing. I don't even like know how to show all you guys this stuff. So, um, wow, we have a lot. So this is a monk pack. I guess it's a, a vegan cookie. It's a double dark chocolate. Right here is a oatmeal raisin spice munch pack. Is it munch pack? Oh, monk pack. I'm gonna try to just uh, go through all. Oh, this is the personal favorite, so I might have to try this one. This is peanut butter chocolate chip. I'm down, I'm gonna try this one. That over here, we do have some gummy worms. We have some coconut clusters. Also, we have some organic deli fish. We have some soft baked chewy bars. Uh, we have also some made good chocolate banana granola bars yeah we have so much stuff here guys um, whoa cookie do cookie dough cookie dough protein bites 12 grams of plant protein wow I've never seen these before so that's a cookie dough flavor and then this is the dark chocolate brownie wow this is crazy I need to just take a photo of this really quick uh, what else we got here we have a vegan protein bar, so, oh, a Vega. So this is Vega protein bar. This is the chocolate peanut butter flavor. We have a salted caramel flavored Vega bar. Uh, what else do we got here? We have, yo, Justin's peanut butter cups. Organic dark chocolate, we're gonna have to try these. Let's try some of those. Um, we have some Idaho Spud, candy bar that makes Idaho famous. Oh, we might have to try this one out too. Idaho Spud. Um, what's this baby right here? Bobo's Toaster Pastry. Strawberry Jam. Yo, you guys seriously spoil me. Oh, we got, yo, cashew butter, peanut butter cups? Well, cashew butter cups. I've never seen these before. I think we're gonna have to try these. So, uh, Yo, almond butter cups as well. Seriously, bro, like, <laughs> I am just blown away. This is some rice milk chocolate. We have some chocolate flavored confectionery bars, rice milk crunch. Um, what else? We got organic coconut bar. Coconut bar. Dark chocolate filled with coconut. We got two of those right here. We got a dark chocolate peanut butter one. Uh, another dark chocolate peanut butter one. Oh, and a Laraba. I've had these before. These are actually really good. And what do we got here? Ooh, a fruit leather strawberry. You guys know I'm definitely taking this down. All right. Um, is that everything? Oh, we got some vegan protein powder. So this is the Vegas Sport Premium Chocolate Flavor. Seriously, again, once again, thank you so much, Hayden. This is absolutely amazing, and I really, really appreciate it. So, um, ooh, we got some trolley strawberry puffs too. Yo, this is wild, straight wild. So, um, all right, I'm going to, I wanna try out these cashew butter cups. So let's, uh, I'm gonna stand these right now so that way I can put them in my fitness pal. All right, so this right here is 230 calories. I seriously need to take another picture of this. That's wild. So, all right. 
Justin's cashew butter cups, dark chocolate. Here we go. All right. Here it is. Let's give it a try. Chocolate's pretty dark. <laughs> it's definitely different with the cashew butter, you know, because you're normally used to the peanut butter. But it's pretty good. It has like some salt in it too, so a nice little taste with uh, the sweet and salty. Mm. Next, let's eat this fruit leather. 50 calories for this baby right here. You guys know how much I love fruit. It pretty much looks like a piece of leather. <laughs> oh yeah. Strawberry. I love strawberry. Oh. As you can tell. Again, thank you Hayden for the strawberry mini wheats. Strawberry pop top. Strawberry puffs. Strawberry leather. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. Mmm. Alright. Oh. I want to try out this right here. So this is a personal favorite by Hayden. So this is Monk Pack Protein Cookie Soft Baked Peanut Butter Chocolate Chip. This whole cookie is 360 calories. Ooh, that smells really good. It smells like a peanut butter blondie. Or a peanut butter cookie. Mmm, that is tasty. And it's not like dry. It's almost like kind of creamy. You know, typically protein cookies will be kind of dry, but This is bomb. Mm. Mint chocolate peanut butter. That's a nice combination. Idaho Spud. I'm gonna try this out. Getting this baby. 180 calories. I was thinking it'd be like a potato because it said Idaho Spud. Well, that's different. I don't know how to explain it. It almost has like chocolate and coconut on the outside, but the middle is. I really don't know how to explain it. It's almost like a custardy type kind of inside. I back it though, Idaho Spud. All right, so next I think we are gonna try out this strawberry jam toaster pastry. So I think you're supposed to heat it up, but I kind of just want to eat it as is. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, I don't know if you have to. It says microwave on high for three seconds. You know what, what's three seconds? <laughs> I don't have time for that. <laughs> I don't have time for three seconds. So let's uh, give this baby a try. Mmm, smells really good. Mmm. I think it would definitely be better warmed up, but it's still really good. It has a really good, like, strawberry taste to it. Yeah, this is awesome. Well, all right, I am uh, I'm pretty satisfied.
right guys, so we just weighed in and we did weigh in at 216.8 pounds. This morning we did weigh in at 206.4 pounds, so we are up 10.4 pounds in one day. So again, that's nothing to worry about. It's just food volume, water, glycogen, and it'll all flush out after you know one to two days. So again, a huge thank you to Hayden. I really, really appreciate you sending me all those treats and your favorite candies and all the vegan goods. And man, I just gotta say, I really, really appreciate it. You guys don't have to do this, but you guys do it. And man, I can't thank you guys enough. So again, thank you. So that is gonna be the video, guys. And also be sure to check out Cove headphones. They are really amazing. I'm really digging them. And I really think you guys could enjoy them as well. So you can use my code NickD65 to save 65%. The link is in the description box below. And I have some exciting news coming up that, um, yeah, I'll be sharing soon. But um, yeah, I'm just really stoked for what's to come. It's gonna be amazing. And yeah, I'm just excited to keep on keeping on. But yes, I just wanna say thank you to all of you guys for all the love and the support. It's been truly amazing. And man, I'm just having a great time. So that is gonna be the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.